what's up and welcome to my new video. This will be a very short video on the Apple Watch and we are going to see the newest update on this Apple Watch. The newest update it is of course Watch OS 10. It is still in beta because as I did a video on iOS 17. If you haven't watched yet the video on iOS 17, just check them out right there. And of course they are both in beta. So Watch OS 10 still in beta, but it's public beta. So it is kind of a stable version of Watch OS 10. Let's see the best changes on this update and why you should update right now or wait for the final release. Anyway, first you can see it already right here because it is of course the watch face. You don't have this watch face yet on your watch just because this is a newest watch face for watch OS 10. I think it's very cool. Of course, we have different colors. So if you go here into edit, you can see that I can switch for multiple colors and this right here on the top are the best colors for this watch face. But this one right here is one of the best looking between these new colors. Another watch face that is very cool. It is this Snoopy watch face and it's really cool because every time you lock and unlock the watch, you will see different animation and that is very cool and very, very funny. Actually, different animation every time. Very, very cool. And sometimes you can see also some animations that are connected to the weather. You can see there are a lot of animation every time we have a different one. Anyway, second update. If you use the digital crown on the side of the watch, you will see that this screen will come out and this is the new smart stack. And you can see that right here you can find a lot of widgets like you could find it in your phone with iOS 17. So at the top, you will see every time the time, of course, that is right here. The clock is actually moving, so it is live. Then you will find the music playing right here or maybe YouTube because I have my phone right here playing a YouTube video. For example, you have weather every widget that you need right down below and you can just move in the screen with the digital crown, of course. You can access this screen also by swiping up. And if I swipe down, of course, we have the still the notification panel. If we press the crown once, you have this new screen for the application. Of course, you can use the list view like it was before, but we cannot zoom in in any way because there is no way to zoom the application, at least that I know right now. And to access the control center, you cannot swipe up anymore. As you have seen before, you get access to this new smart stock feature. So you just have to press the button, the physical button on the side of the watch. And so you can have access to the control center. I think that you have to get used to it, but it is not that big of a change. You will just get used to it very quickly. And still, if you press and hold the digital crown, of course, you will bring up Siri. And also you can call her by just saying Siri. And by double pressing the physical button right here, you will get access, of course, to Apple Pay. But how do you get access to the multitasking? So if you want to close an app, how do you do it? So you just have to double press the crown right here and you have the multitasking. So you can just close some apps. We got also some new feature in the workout app because usually I do the traditional strength training and it is a very generic training. There is a little bit of a design changes, but we have some new feature for the outdoor cycle and the cycling in general and also for the hiking. So I don't know about the hiking because I am not a person who does hiking, but I am a person who likes to go cycling. So I will test the newest cycling feature because I've seen that we have also the power while you're cycling with all the other info like calories, the heart rate and all of that stuff. But anyway, I will test that for sure because I like to go cycling very much. So I will test that and I will let you know for sure. Then last thing, we have some design changes. For example, if you go here into work clock, you have different design and it is much better, if I can say, because the oldest, it was like very, very old style. So they did a very good job with this. I mean, it is very useless for me, but it is always a good thing to have a redesign also on this app. Anyway, we have also a redesign on the compass. For example, right down below, we have the elevation right here. You can see 292 meters. And if I click on the elevation, we have this new feature. We can see the compass from another perspective. And of course, we can zoom in and zoom out. 
And if we go into an Iking spot, we will see also some roots right here. Also, we have a redesign and a feature added to the mindfulness app right here. Before you had only the reflect and the breathe function right here, but right now you have the state of mind. So if you click on the state of mind, you can see right down below it says log. So if you click here, you can log your daily mood or also like it says right here, the feeling that you have right now. So you can log both of these things. And of course you will find these logs into the health app of your iPhone. Very cool feature if you want to track your mood like for some month or maybe for years. Anyway, for now, I didn't find any major bug in this watchOS 10 like I have in iOS 17. So if you want to try it and update it on your watch, I think you can do it very easily because it is also battery efficient. I mean, I've not seen any major difference in battery, so it is pretty much the same for me. And as I said, any major bug for now, but still you will have some very new cool watch faces and you have some very other new features that you should try, especially this smart stack right here. It's a very, very intelligent thing to have in a smartwatch. Anyway, for this video, that's pretty much it. If you have any question, of course, type it down below in the comments and I will be happy to answer. If you did like this video, of course, just hit a like down below because it's free. And of course, just subscribe down below. So as always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.